So this is big news. So today July 1st. Six Flags and Cedar Fair completed the merger. This is big news in the industry. And it's changed, big changes. So Six Flags Cedar Fair, two big amusement regional companies merge. So now they got 42 parks. All over the country. So that's the pox. So this is my thoughts about the merger. I got mixed feelings. The first time I heard about this, I never thought this was going to happen in, in my lifetime. I never thought see if they going to be controlling Six Flags. And Six Flags going to be teaming up with see if they so, see if they are going to be 50, at least 52% they're going to have control. It's, I think Six Flags is like 30%. But, so, see if they are going to be the main ones controlling the company, the new company. So, this is the new Six Flags. So, why do they want to keep the Six Flags name? Is why Six Flags is well known? Anybody know the Six Flags brand? That's why I see if they're, they're going to change their name and call it Six Flags. So, this is the new Six Flags logo of the Six Flags chain. But, my, th my thoughts about this. I still got mixed feelings because every time see a fear it's like the second time they bought a chain of pox. So I remember they bought like maybe mid two thousands, late two thousands, six flags no, not six flags. See a fear bought Parmont's Pox. So that's Kings out in Union. Kings Island, Knott's Bay Farm, uh, Jalaga Lake. So I remember see a point in Sanduxy, Ohio. And Jalaga Lake is near Cleveland, Ohio. So that's close enough. So once they bought Jalaga Lake with the chain, uh, they kept Jalaga Lake for a couple of years. They closed them down. So now that's why I got, I got mixed feelings. Because now in Six Flags, you see if they had just merged. So, see the fear part side of things is the majority of the new owner. And they're going to be controlling six flags. So, I'm worrying about, we won't see no changes the first, like this year. But start next year, we're going to see brand new changes. So, first of all, they might sell some parks off. And I'm worrying about, I have a gut feeling they might sell some Six Flags parks off. Um, they're going to keep the Sea of Fear parks. But like Six Flags America, I think mean, that's in danger. Six Flags Dam on the Lake, Great Escape, and maybe Six Flags New England. It might sell them off or close them down. I hope not. So I'm a little nervous because I saw this before. So I have been like a little nervous, a little nervous. But I just want to see what this brand new company going to do. 
and I can't wait to see how this is going to play out in the future. But, and plus, maybe next, next year, you're going to change the season pass, tiers. So, so now the brand new Six Flags, they got 42 parks now, all over North America. And they got two parks in Mexico and Canada. So I'm just like, I know they're going to change the season pass, and the season pass price is going to go up. So now, I'm just, I'm like a, leg a legacy uh, member. So I'm grandfather in the old legacy member pass. So I get 50% off of uh, food and and uh, tickets. So now, it might be the last year of my pass. I hope not, but I have a feeling. So now, I know they might, I know they're gonna change the passes. So this year might be the last year of the member pass. So, so I might get, my pass might be ending, I hope not. But unfortunately, I think it will. But, don't get me wrong, I do like Six Flags and Sea of Fear Pox. But I'm just, I still got mixed feelings. So, I'm happy this merge is completed, but I'm scared at the same time. I know the season pass is going to change. And I might lose my uh, membership, but but I'm happy at the same time because we got more parks, and I could go to other parks. I don't know about this year, but next year I know the brand new season pass thing I'm come up with to go to all the 42 parks, but. I think I I know we I know they're gonna sell some parks off. Cause 42 parks is a little too much. But I might be wrong, they might keep it. But I have a feeling they might sell some parks off. These are the parks. Arizona got Hurricane Harbor, California, Grand America, North Bay Farm, Choke City, Magic Mountain, Hurricane Harbor. Discovery Kingdom, Hurricane Harbor, New York, Darren Lake, Great Escape, North Carolina, uh, Carowinds, Ohio, Sea Point, Sea Point Shores, Kings Island, Georgia, Atlanta, Georgia, Six Flags Over Georgia, White Waller, Illinois, Great America, Hurricane Harbor, Hurricane Harbor, Oklahoma, Fontana City, Hurricane Harbor, Pennsylvania, Dorney Park, Wild Water Kingdom, Texas, Six Flags Over Texas, Hurricane Harbor, Hurricane Harbor, Splash Town, uh, Silverbong, Resort, Turn Bar, Water Park, Six Flags, Chris, Texas, Six Flags America, been to that one. Six Flags New England, my home park, Michigan Invention. Alfia, Missouri, Six Flags St. Louis, it was fun. Kings and Indian, Canada, Canada Wonderland, Iran, Hurricane Harbor, Six Flags Mexico, New Jersey, Six Flags Great Adventure, Hurricane Harbor, Benia. My favorite Six Flags Park. So this is my thoughts on the new Six Flags. 
So if you have any questions, comment. I'm looking forward to, for this new company. When I see what this the kind of brand new rides they're going to come up with. But you might see new changes starting next year. I'm looking forward to what's coming to us. And I hope we get brand new rides. But I did heard they're going to put, they're going to use Bugs Bunny and, and DC characters to see the fair parks. They're going to use Snoopy characters in Six Flags parks. So I want to see, I know Camp Snoopy going to be coming to Six Flags. The Six Flags New England might have Camp Snoopy now. All the Six Flags, they might do Camp Snoopy. Then all the city fair parks might be Bugs Bunny National Park or New to the Movie Town. Uh, the, but I heard all the parks are going to keep their names. They won't change the names. But I'm hearing they're not going to rebrand No Rise and No City of Fair Parks. So you won't see no Batman ride at. Cedar Point or Raleigh Fair, Dorney Park, but maybe in future, maybe not, I don't know, but, so this is my thoughts about the brand new company, I still got mixed feelings, but, but my feelings could change over the years, so, brand new Six Flags, I hope y'all uh, do good things. Good luck with the company. And uh, hopefully, hopefully, hope y'all do good. So this is my Six Flags company, brand new company. My thoughts about the merger. If y'all have any questions, press below comment below press like see you guys in the next mission